Air. It's one of the three things you must have in an internal combustion engine to move your motorcycle. Any air will do for a short time, but if you want to enjoy a long relationship with your bike, you're going to need clean air. This requires maintenance to keep the air flowing. On street bikes, it can be pretty simple, but on bikes that see dirt duty, it's a more involved process. Today on MC Garage, we talk about foam air filter maintenance. There's a full-on process to make sure silt, dust, even small bits of dirt don't make it past the filter and into your engine, which is gonna cause an early death. Not to mention an engine runs better with more air. A clogged filter can cause all kinds of performance losses and a severely plugged filter will compromise the seal of your filter to the air boot. So, how do we stop these particles? A foam air filter uses a sticky oil medium to trap the dirt as it and air passes through the filter's cellular structure. The dirt sticks to the oil, which is attached to the filter. Dirty air enters, and if it's oiled and serviced properly, clean air exits on the backside and goes into the engine. It's a simple solution, but it's one that requires diligence. Your filter is dirty after a rad weekend of shredding the trail with the crew. So where do you start? Number one, open the air box and pull the filter out. Make sure if there are any large clumps of dirt, they don't make their way into the air boot as you pull the filter out. A vacuum can be your friend here. Once the filter is out of the bike, use a filter cover to close up the air intake. Then wash your bike. This will make life easier when you reinstall the filter. Now for the filter. The stock Honda filter on our 2019 CRF 450RX has been cleaned and re-oiled multiple times. These things do have a service life and I would generally only reuse a filter about 10 times or so. Not only do cleaning solvents deteriorate the glue over time, the foam will become more brittle and start to fall apart as well. Check it out before cleaning as you might need a new one, just like this pre-oiled no toil filter. This saves tons of time. Why wash an old filter when you don't need to? Just toss it and move to the last step. If the filter is still in good shape, you're gonna need to clean it. Use a solvent to clean the petroleum-based oil from the filter, followed by a bath in warm, soapy water. This will get the filter clean and ready to dry for re-oiling. With the no toil filters, you wash them a little bit differently. They have a complete system that saves the hassle of using solvent or gasoline to clean the filter, which leaves you with leftovers that you need to dispose of properly, meaning you can't put that stuff down the drain. No toil filters use a proprietary non-petroleum oil that works with a cleaner that doesn't use a solvent. Instead, warm water and the cleaner is all you need. Dunk the filter and let it soak for about three to five minutes. Then work the filter, squeezing it until all the dirt and oil is removed. All of the biodegradable oil, cleaner, and dirt can go right down the drain. Some people even use their home washing machines to clean their filters with no toil. Once the filter is clean and dry, it's time to oil it. Pour some oil onto the filter and work it through completely. Look for areas that aren't colored by the oil. Anywhere without oil will let dirt right on through. I prefer to use Ziploc bags to do the oiling as it makes it easy to work the filter oil through the air filter in its own container. I do several at a time, and this is a handy way to store the filters oiled and ready to go for next time. After the oil, it's time to reinstall after one more step, greasing the lip. This helps seal the filter to the air boot seal and will stop any leaks and pass through a foreign material if your filter gets really dirty on your bike. Apply a generous amount of waterproof grease all the way around. Finally, reinstall the filter and make sure all the tabs and sealing surfaces are lined up. That's it. Go forth and ride, get dirty, wash, and repeat. And that's it for this episode of AMC Garage. If you like what we're doing, like, subscribe, share. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put them down below. We'll see you next time.